When Books Went to War by Molly Gupto Manning is a compelling work of historical nonfiction published in 2014. It delves into the profound impact of book burning during World War II and highlights the heroic efforts of a group of librarians who fought to save these invaluable literary treasures. This New York Times bestseller has garnered praise from critics for shedding light on a significant chapter in American publishing history. Manning, currently an attorney at the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit, is also a prolific writer for law journals and legal publications, at its core. When Books Went to War explores the transformative power of books and their ability to shape the world. Manning examines how books provided solace and unity during the darkest days of World War II, offering soldiers a much-needed escape from the horrors they faced. The book also delves into the relentless battle against censorship waged by librarians, publishers, and writers. Without their tireless efforts, beloved stories would have been lost forever. Point one of the notable achievements highlighted in the book is the democratization of reading. Manning illustrates how reading, once considered a pastime exclusively for the privileged elite, became accessible to people from all walks of life. Furthermore, she explores how soldiers returning from the war, enriched by their reading experiences, gained the courage to pursue higher education. The book exchange program initiated during the war had a profound and lasting impact on American education. When Books Went to War emphasizes the success of the World War II book campaign, which aimed to make literature available to the masses. Manning begins the book with a chapter titled A Phoenix Will Rise, vividly recounting the book burnings orchestrated by the Germans in the years preceding the war. These burnings targeted books by Jewish authors and symbolized the suppression of ideas and diversity through meticulous research and compelling storytelling. When Books Went to War paints a vivid picture of the vital role books played during World War II, it stands as a testament to the resilience of literature and the unwavering dedication of those who fought to preserve it. According to Manning, the book burning in Germany during World War II was not solely orchestrated by student groups but had the support of the Nazi party which encouraged the burning of books deemed inappropriate. This nationwide campaign of censorship spiraled out of control, leading to widespread condemnation from other countries. H.G. Wells established the Library of Burned Books in Paris, offering a safe haven for German refugees to preserve their books and protect them from destruction by the Nazis. In America, there was a strong protest against this literary holocaust, with people demanding accountability from Germany. A.S. The war broke out. Manning argues that the anger and determination of Americans to counter the German actions intensified. The desire to ensure that every possible book ended up in the hands of American soldiers on the front lines became paramount. In response, American librarians played a significant role by launching a campaign to send paperback and hardcover book donations to the troops. This campaign was highly successful, raising over 20 million hardcovers for shipment. However, a challenge emerged, not all the donated books were suitable for the soldiers' preferences. Manning explains that soldiers desired books that offered hope, inspiration, comedy, and excitement rather than subjects like medieval history or knitting. To address this issue, a campaign was initiated to determine the soldiers' preferred reading materials, and efforts were made to petition for appropriate book donations. By 1943, it became evident that the publishing industry alone couldn't meet the demand, prompting collaboration between major American publishing houses and the War Department. Together, they devised a plan to produce small, lightweight paperback editions of the most popular books, specifically tailored for shipment to the troops. In summary, Manning's book underscores the response of American librarians to the censorship crisis during World War II and their unique contribution to the war effort. It highlights the success of the campaign to provide soldiers with books that offered entertainment, inspiration, and emotional support, ultimately demonstrating the transformative power of literature in times of war. The compactness of the books produced for soldiers during World War II allowed them to easily carry these portable editions in their rucksacks and pockets, enabling reading at any opportunity. These books came to be known as the Armed Services Editions, as they were specifically printed for service personnel. Manning explores the significance of the most popular books and their impact on the soldiers who read them. Through personal accounts shared by American soldiers, she highlights the profound influence these stories had on their lives. Point one such story Manning recounts involves a young Marine who, 
while hospitalized with malaria, discovered solace in reading A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. This book not only changed his perspective on life, but also aided in his recovery from depression. It provided him with the emotional strength to experience a range of human emotions once again, including tears, laughter, smiles, and a renewed sense of humanity. Books that depicted themes of home and family allowed soldiers to feel a connection to their own loved ones, offering a temporary respite from the harsh realities of war and bolstering their determination to carry on. Manning also notes that books containing romantic and sexual content found popularity among soldiers of all ages. These stories provided an escape and a sense of connection, reminding the soldiers of their shared humanity and shared experiences. For Manning, the importance of these personal anecdotes lies in their ability to demonstrate how storytelling has the power to unite people and evoke a sense of commonality. The armed services editions and the literary campaigns that accompanied them represent a significant chapter in America's publishing history, one that should never be forgotten. They serve as a testament to the enduring impact of literature and the role it played in providing comfort, inspiration, and a sense of home to the brave men and women serving their country during World War II. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.